How's it going everyone? Coach Cam here with some tips on how to improve your push-ups and also learn how to do a push-up. So I'm starting, I started a push-up challenge group on Facebook this past Monday and I've been doing a lot of free challenge groups and we did a push-up challenge a couple months ago and it was really popular so it's coming back around. We're starting a new one which is which is really awesome and um, a lot of people don't do push-ups on a regular basis. Maybe they can't do a full push-up, they put their knees down. And there's also a lot of people out there that can't do a single push-up, knees down or regular at all. And you might laugh when you hear that, but that's a true, true thing. You think about it, you're basically pushing up your whole body weight. And if you weigh 150 pounds, 200, 250 pounds, that's a lot of weight you're pushing up. And a lot of people just don't exercise and don't do that on a regular basis, so they can't do a push-up. And it's not any fault of their own, they just haven't been building up the, the muscles and been doing it. And I always like to say, think of it as a life or death situation. If if you had to um, come down to it and push yourself up to, to get out of a dangerous situation, would you be able to do it? And some people that can't do push-ups have really got to think about that. Well, there's a couple of different tips I'm going to show you on how you can strengthen your body to be able to do push-ups and how you can kind of modify and build them up. So a lot of people assume that push-ups are just all chest. What you do, you use your chest muscles, but you have a lot of secondary muscles you use as well. Um, a couple big ones are the triceps and the shoulders. And for me personally, when I do push-ups, what fails first when I got all the blood going, I can't do it anymore, is my shoulders. My shoulders blow up way before my chest does. That's what swells up and allows me to stop doing push-ups. So I'm gonna show you a few different exercises to strengthen the triceps and the shoulders, and then a modified version of how you can build up to doing a full push-up. So, I have really light weights here, three pounders, that's it. It doesn't take a lot of weight. People always think if you wanna build muscle and, and burn off some fat and do all this stuff, you need to have heavy weights. Heavy weights is awesome for a lot of different things, um, but light weights and high reps is good for burning fat and building muscle just the same. So um, you don't have to use a ton of weight. Like I said, three pounders. Um, one of the first things you can do, there's a ton of variations, these are just easy ones and you can use um, cans or dumbbells or whatever you have that has a little bit of weight is for strengthening your shoulder. So many different shoulder exercises out there. I'm just gonna show you a couple really, really quick and easy ones. So basically you're gonna take your two dumbbells, like so, hold them with your palms facing towards your thighs. So, and then you just hold it straight out and we're gonna do one at a time. I'm just gonna bring up my right arm now to about shoulder level and back down. And I do the other side, nice and slow. And when you're doing this, a couple of things you wanna remember. You wanna keep your back completely straight, standing up with your chest up, and you wanna contract your core because with any exercise you can do, you wanna be keeping your core super tight. And now three pounds for some people might be super, super tough. And if that's the case, you need to be doing more of these because that is probably one of the main reasons why you can't do a push-up. Your shoulders aren't very strong. So this is one good way to build it up. So you can do different sets of that, um, strengthen up, and what you can also do, get out of the side here, that same kind of move, but you can do to the side. You're just working a different angle of the shoulder here. Don't mind the dog barking, this is real life. So you can change those variations up, um, front raises and side raises for your shoulders to build up your shoulders. Now one you can do for your triceps, a bunch of different stuff for triceps too. Um, this is a, a dumbbell kickback, triceps kickback. And what you want to do, you can use the same three pound weight. And I have this little fancy chair right here. You want to lean over and you want to take your weight and pull it up. Like you're kind of put it to the side of your chest here. And what you're going to do, keeping your elbow at 90 degrees, you're just going to kick back that dumbbell nice and easy. You're going to come back to your form a 90 degree angle with your elbow again and kick it back. And like I said, this might be tough for some people with the three pounder, but obviously it shows you need to be doing this. Just kick it back and repeat for the other side. And that's gonna build up that tricep and you're also using a little bit of your shoulder too and your back, so you're hitting multiple muscles. And then lastly, I'm gonna show you guys, this is a good way to progress up to a full push-up. Get any standard chair, folding chair, dining chair, whatever, it's easier to do elevated push-ups than the one on the ground because you're not your full weight isn't on there, um, which is going to help. So what you're going to do, put your hands side of the chair like so, 
put your feet back and you're going to assume like you're going to get a push up position and you're just going to go down as far as you can go. Maybe as far as you can go is right here. That's all you can do, just like that. But you're slowly building up your triceps, your shoulders, and your chest. You should be able to do just these. Let's get on the side of the chair and go down to your push-ups. And again, remember to keep your core tight. Don't want to lean forward with your back. And just work your way up on the push-ups. And slowly you'll be able to do farther down on the chair. And once you do that, you can get a lower level. Go to like a coffee table or a stack of books until slowly you can get down and work yourself to the ground. Start doing knee down push-ups and working your way up to full push-ups. So that is some tips to build up your muscles and your secondary muscles to be able to do a full push-up.